Good morning, good morning. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed morning in the Lord. Word for today is Isaiah 3, chapter 3, verses 9 to 11. And I will begin to read. The show of their countenance doeth witness against them. And they declare sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Verse 10. Say ye to the righteous that it should be well with him, for they should eat the fruit of their doings. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And verse 11, Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell you what God was saying. Just pretty much what the scripture says. What you do, what you say will be held against you point blank in the story god said in this hour make sure you understand whose side you own what you represent and who you are and who you serve come on somebody hallelujah and another thing um this morning when i got up what i i'm starting to do what i used to do and this is very powerful especially in the spirit room when you get up in the morning or even when you have time and you get off of work or whatever Go through your home with the word of God. Start reading. Read the word of God. Go into every room. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't think y'all understand what time it is. It's time for you to do spiritual warfare on a level that is coming against your home, your house, your finances, your family, whatever the, the case may be. God says we have to be diligent in this hour. He says pray without ceasing. Go take that Bible. Go through every room in your house. Decree and declare. Uh, come on somebody that your family is blessed. That your family is saved. That your family is protected. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. We're living in those times where you have to stay prayed up. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. I, I'm reminded of when the death angel went through um, Egypt. You know, and it bypassed the houses that had the blood stain on it. All right. It may not be a physical blood stain in this hour, but it better be a blood stain banner, said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. This stuff is real. God needs to know whose side you own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when he send them plagues, as he is already doing, if you acting like you don't know what time it is, y'all see the destruction. Let me tell you something. Whether we like it or not, nothing can happen without the Lord's permission. So all this stuff that's happening, we can point at the devil and it is the devil because God is allowing it. But the question is, why is God allowed it in this hour? Come on somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. So I just want to get up on here with an encouraging word for you. Um, this was the word that he had me go to this morning. Get in your Bible, spend time with God. You know, right now, um, there's such a falling away. People, they get up talking about money. They go to bed talking about money. I mean, this stuff is crazy. Sex, everything, everything but God. And then they wonder why their lives are in the disarray. I said it. I said what I said. If you, if your life is in disarray, then maybe you need to ask yourself, what am I doing or what am I not doing? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Sometimes you just got to be real with you. Most people, they're in another world. They live in a fantasy world. It's not even real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Bethany. You have to anoint your home. Um, I anoint the doors, um, the, willing, the, the windows, everything. <laughs> I sure do. Praise God. Hallelujah. You have to stay prayed up and you have to stay um, armed up. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. I pray over every last one of you that are listening, that will listen. I pray that you have a blessed day in the Lord, that you stay prepared, that you stay ready, that you stay prayed up, that you walk in love, that you evangelize. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is the time to be ministering. There are so many people hurting. Come on, somebody, especially with these pagan holidays. I'm not trying to bash you if you um participate in these holidays. I do not. Um, but I do know that in this season, people are getting in debt just to buy a gift. I'm just being real, you know, trying to keep up with this one and that one. Honey, I, if we are close and whatever, I'm a love on you all through the year. Not just one day or two days. The devil is a lie. I just said something. The devil is a lie. But nevertheless, I understand. Everything's a process, right? So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.